It's your last season for One Tree Hill. That must be a pretty emotional thing for you. Well, what are you most looking forward to? What are you most, you know, sad about or afraid of? Um, you know, it's interesting. It, it was very emotional. We just started airing this week, but we actually finished the show in November. So we've all been through it, and we've, you know, we've said our goodbyes, and we've, I, I mean, myself in particular, all my castmates and friends, every time they pass, those those bathroom stores, Waterworks, take pictures of the logo and send them to me, and I'm like, I know, because uh, I just I cried every day, everything I looked at, everyone I saw. Um, who you who you miss and who you keep in touch with? I I mean I keep in touch with everybody. I'm really lucky. We we have a great cast and and we're a family. And and we have a character returns this season. And also, how are they going to wrap it up? I mean, we're going to tie it up nice and neat, or, or we're going to have to wait and see. You know the. The season is very suspenseful and very up and down, but by the time we get to the end, it just feels right. Fans will be satisfied. I can promise you that. The end feels really, really good. Great. And what's next for you? Do you have anything lined up yet or just kind of feeling it out? I, I had a wonderful experience over the holidays, and I traveled to Laos with Pencils of Promise and spent two weeks on the ground going to villages and swimming in rivers with kids and uh, ex having days at learning centers. And, and so for me, the last, the last month has really been about getting out in the field with philanthropies that I work with. And uh, I just got home on Monday night from a trip to work with To Write Love on Her Arms. And, and so I know that I have to like, do my homework and start reading scripts and everything, but we'll, we'll get there. All right, we'll have a great time tonight.